What's up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? My name's Naomi. Welcome to House of Miscellanea. I wanted to uh, show you around the new work area. I've put up some pictures in the Discord, so if you follow in the Discord, you've seen pictures, but I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a tour of what I'm working with, right? And people had asked about organization supplies, and I wanted to make sure I show you some of those things. So, um, as you can see, I've got a, I've got a whip right here on the table already, but um, and then, and then there's beans. He's decided he wants to also be in the video, I guess. But let me turn back this way. Never mind my bird who's going to pretend like she's talking or like she's talking on the phone. She does that a lot. So just ignore her. And any traffic sounds, I guess, that you're going to hear because that's a thing that <laughs> happens too. Um, so this is the workspace that I have. I'm pretty, uh, happy about that. Um, so I've got my paint gems kept down here. Right now, anyways, my diamond paintings are stacked here. Uh, that's until I can get my closet cleared out and then they're gonna go inside the closet. Um, but as far as when I have either works in progress or completed paintings, people have asked what I'm doing with those. I have them turned around right now because I wanted to be able to show you what I'm using. So I picked up this let me get this one out of the way. I picked up just one of these door hanger jobs right here with the six hangers on it. And then these, they're like skirt or pant hangers that I picked up at Walmart, maybe five or six dollars. I don't know. Not much. Um, but the nice thing about them is that they have rubberized um, ends on them on the clips so they grab a hold of the diamond paintings really well now these are all whips however I do have another one behind it that's holding like I don't know probably seven or eight completes on it and you as you can see like it can hold a fair amount of weight so you know I I might not recommend putting you know 12 or 15 on there just because that's a lot of pounds but I was really surprised that it was able to hold as much as it is. Now, the reason I also have them flipped around backwards is because then they're up against the door and they tend to lay flat. Uh, but that's what I'm working with. I have two of those hanging up there, one with finishes and one with whips. Uh, you can also get the single hangers. The sing I dropped that on the floor. The single pants hangers. The only thing that I've noticed is that even with the clips on these that it doesn't actually work very well to hold on to more than one diamond painting at a time because that rubber doesn't hold much especially if there's plastic on it but that's what I use sometimes the other thing that I use is actually this huge portfolio bag now I will put a link in the description for this portfolio bag I picked it up on Amazon now, as you can see, one, it's humongous. I was able to fit in here uh, Grand Canal and Basilica Venice, which is uh, 105 centimeters wide. So it does fit a pretty large painting inside of it. Now, this is standing upright. This bag is not meant to stand upright. I did have to uh, put a little something in it. Hold on, let me find the zipper here. There it is. I did have to put something inside of it to keep it upright, and I'll show you what I used. Never mind that moving box. That was actually my first attempt at trying to keep this thing standing up. It did not work. But what did work was I went to the Dollar Tree, and I picked up some their presentation boards, okay? Like those tri-fold boards that you use for science fairs or whatever. And what I have is I have my painting separated by like see these are diamond dots or then the next one might be I don't know what it is to be honest with you right off the top of my head uh, nothing in that one but then the following one is like all my diamond art club these are all unfinished unstarted these I haven't even laid a diamond on but I have those separated really beans this is what I'm dealing with you guys that's a Pyrenees for you Anyways, um, but then I also, <laughs> okay, let's see if he'll stop now. Uh, but yeah, so I also got these clips from the Dollar Tree. 
the small ones come in a pack of six and the large ones these guys come in a pack of four and because they're rubberized on the end they hold quite uh they they hold very very well so what i was doing is if I, they were works in progress i was putting them in be, in between here and then i was clipping them to the boards so that they weren't falling down because ones that have diamonds on them the weight tends to put them down and then curl them under so i didn't want them doing that but that's that's what i have here this portfolio bag and then let me show you a couple other things the next thing that I wanted to show you is since I have the, you know, the unstarted diamond paintings in this portfolio bag, this is actually where I keep the diamonds from those paintings. So it's a three stacker Sterlite container that I got at Walmart. Um, the diamonds are in the drawers. So like this one here is anything that is not Diamond Art Club. Uh, they already have a sticker on the front of them that says what painting they're from. So like this is from the Mona Lisa. Um, this one is from my Lily Pond by Monet. Uh, all of those things are in here. Um, these are a couple of like, I think unlicensed things that I'm not doing anything with. Uh, and then these are diamond art clubs. I took the, the small square sticker. I put everything in the dust cover that it comes in. And then this is like the large sticker. Sometimes it's also the uh, toolkit, whatnot. I put it all inside of the dust cover. I folded that over it a few times and then I put this square sticker on it so I know what's in here. The other thing that I do that is probably not normal, I guess, I got these little containers right here from the Dollar Tree. So buck twenty-five used to be everything's a dollar, now everything's a dollar twenty-five. A little dusty, but this is where I put my empty bags for my works in progress. Uh, I don't like all of the plastic waste that you end up with with regard to diamond painting. So what I do is instead of putting them in plastic baggies necessarily, I will take them, I save these bags that have the numbers on them, and then when I'm finished, I will put everything back into these little baggies, tape them closed, and then those are the bags that I use for my leftover diamonds. Um, the reason that I do that is, like I said, I don't like all the plastic waste, and at least I'm reusing these so that I'm not just adding more crap to a land landfill somewhere, right? But $1.25, and then I just put them right back into the, the long bags that they come in when you open them up, and I save them. But... I have some of my whips in here. Now, the other thing that I got from Diamond, or from Diamond Art Club, from the Dollar Tree that I think is really handy are these long, these long, th never mind those. I don't use these kinds of, we know why I don't use these. I showed people. I'm not going to show you right now. It'll, it'll blast my eardrums out. But I got these at the Dollar Tree also. $1.25. You can see they're very long. They fit perfectly inside of the Sterlite container, like from back to front. They fit perfectly. Um, they have rubber bottoms in them, and they have rubber feet on them, so they're not going to move around anywhere. But what I'll do is I will put, like, you know, when you get a diamond painting that comes in baggies, I don't like to kit those up. I like to just put them inside of these things. So if I wanted to, I could have them inside of there and, you know, in their row or whatever, and I can put them inside of these Sterlite containers um, in the drawers so that when I'm working up here at my desk, I could just, boop, pop them right out. Now, the next little thing that I wanted to show you is actually these little Sterlite containers. I love these things. Now, this looks like a really tall one, but it's actually three sets of three because they come in a three stacker. It's a Sterlite container that you pick up at Walmart. I can't remember. I think they were six bucks, maybe seven bucks. But the awesome thing, check this out, you guys. It is the perfect size for washi tape. The washi tape fits in there perfectly. I have, there's, it, you're seeing four rows, but there's actually five rows of washi tape that go all the way to the back. I thought that was super handy. So I've got washi tape in these top three drawers. They fit in there perfectly, you guys. I love it. And then this next drawer down right here, this is some pens. There's some more pens in this one. I've got odds and ends in this guy. 
I've got, and this one's probably going to be, you know, reused for something else because as of right now, like, I, I don't know, I need the drawer for something else. I'll label it, like, this one is labeled washi tape up on the top, but I'll probably label each drawer because I'm, you know, retentive that way. Um, next set down, I have wax in this one. I have in this one, I have my putty. This last one has, what does it have? Oh, what's that? Oh. Don't forget to hit that like button, you guys, and subscribe if you like diamond painting content. This one just has my stickers. I keep a little notebook in here in case I have, you know, notes I need to make. Like, this was my sponsors from the event. Um, but I also keep the stickers, my leftover stickers, in this drawer. Pretty handy, pretty handy stuff. Um, next to my little thing here, I like to keep, it's just literally a pen holder with my pens that I'm usually using or actual pens, my tweezers, you know, I like to keep those things handy. This tool I use, it's a multi-tool, this thing is awesome. Uh, I use that for removing things, pinching things, like, oh gosh, I use it for everything. But yeah, and then I, I have some organization happening there. Uh, but I have super enjoyed having this all in one place instead of like I was doing. I was working off of two tray tables and a crappy chair. I want to show you that before I close up. So this tray table right here, this is the tray table one of them that I was using. Now, as you can see, it's an oversized tray table, but I was just using one of these to diamond paint on, and then next to it would be another that would have my computer and things like that on it. And then, dude, this is the chair. <laughs> when I was telling you like a 1970 chair, I was not kidding. It's got, what do they call this? Naga hide? What's a Naga anyways? And just terrible. I flattened my booty on this for the last several months diamond painting. So um, I want to say a huge thank you to Michelle H. for providing me with a desk and a beautiful desk chair. And now I've got an actual area where I can do all of my diamond painting, uh, creating content, all that fun stuff. So a uh, humongous thank you to Michelle H. And that's a little tour of my space that I'm working with. Uh, I want to, as ever, thank all of my viewers, my subscribers, and my members of the channel. If you want to join uh, as a member of the channel, go ahead and head on down to the description. There is a link down there for memberships as well as some other fun links for things. Um, as ever, I want to say thank you for watching, like, and subscribe if you enjoy diamond painting content from me. Hit that like button. You know where it is. It's, it's, it's right somewhere down in here. Um, otherwise, as ever, I hope that you guys are having a beautiful morning, evening, or afternoon wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.